Hey, hey Aquarius, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your August 2024 monthly reading. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Aquarius. You're at a crossroads this month. This is decision time. So for some of you, this decision or this choice or crossroads that you may be facing has to do with you letting go of some conflict. This could be inner conflict. I mean, your first card out is the devil in reverse. It can be an attachment, codependency. It could be an emotional disconnect. It may even be a trigger. I mean, we have retrograde the majority of the month, so you may feel the heat. Okay, you may feel the heat. I mean, we also have Leo season, which in tarot, Leo's major arcana is the sun. So quite literally, it's like the heat's on you. But I like that you're releasing something here. This choice or decision or crossroads is putting you on a path to a brighter future, one that is open to expansion and love. You have the lover's card. You have the ace of coins and the three of cups. This is celebration. Now, bottom of the deck, you have the hierophant here. So perhaps you are reassessing where your commitments lie and who's committed to you in return. So I feel like there is a traditional versus unconventional approach that you may be weighing up at this time. And I actually feel like you are going to take the path less traveled. There could be communication coming in towards the end of the month. We see the big eight energy. August is an eighth month. We are in an eight personal year. Some of you Things are going to get shaken up a little bit, but to put you directly back on track with a goal that you've had. So there may have been a distraction. Some of you, there was an indulgence or even destructive tendencies to self-sabotage or to attach ourselves to things that may or may not be in our, our best interest, or they can be unhealthy. I feel like you're letting it go though, but it may feel a little difficult to detach from that devil. We start off with the anchor here in your career sector. So you're lifting this anchor up and you're freeing yourself to allow movement elsewhere is what I'm picking up on. Bottom of the deck, you do have ascension showing up. You're rising above. You are advancing. You're hitting the next level. The next tier is what I'm getting here for you, Aquarius. We also have Wonderlust. You could be traveling. You could be relocating for work. You could be going on a family trip. This could be a work trip as well. You may even be moving. You may be disconnecting from a property that... You've outgrown in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, I'm getting an outgrown energy. You've outgrown a situation and you're not meant to ever go back to it in this life, right? It says it's not the right time or this isn't the time to indulge in destructive tendencies because as soon as you let go, it's like playing the tug of war game. Right? As soon as you let go of the rope, it's like the other person falls back. There's no more fight. There's no more resistance. And I feel for some of you, as soon as something is released, a new energy comes rushing in or it comes in quicker than you think. We're just getting all your cards out here, Aquarius. All your cards. We have the flame showing up as your archetype. I also see you stepping outside your comfort zone, stretching beyond the limits of what you thought was possible, reinventing yourself from the inside out. I also see health becoming better, vitality, feeling more alive. So let's dive into your reading here, Aquarius. 
we start off with the conflict card but this reminds me when i created this card it is like the fives in tarot fives are about change uncertainty conflict travel change is uncomfortable but it allows us to get to that next level that next chapter of our lives and i feel more six energy on this conflict card than i actually do five I feel like it's conflict resolution here. And that's why it says solutions and overcoming obstacles. This is about triggers, adversity, opposing views, and maybe even a competitive energy. So five of wands, competition, five of swords can be triggers, right? And opposing views, needing to one up another person to get you know, get to the top in some way, shape or form, but possibly done in an underhanded way. This could be mental, you know, strife and struggle. Five of cups can even be, you know, emotional where we tend to feel depressed or bitter or resentment. And I feel like you are overcoming whatever five you landed in, maybe financial or material or possibly health issues with the five of pentacles. I don't see any fives out here because I feel like you're coming up out of that energy and heading towards the six. And that's harmony, problem solving, taking responsibility and doing what you need to do to release the devil, whatever that may be, in your life. And it's so interesting. The devil has shown up a lot lately within my own teachings because we tarot readers are always evolving and learning and taking on new uh, perspectives, right? And I heard the other day, devil in reverse is spelled lived right? Devil in reverse is spelled lived. And the devil in itself is our earthly pleasures. It is us partaking in the sweet indulgences that life here on earth has to offer, right? And it's when it becomes an obsession or it's when we become attached to it that it becomes toxic toxic. So think of, you know, ice cream. <clears throat> think of an indulgence that you like to partake in from time to time, whether it's ice cream, perhaps it is, you know, your nightly wine, uh, maybe it is a sexual, it can be primal. I mean, whatever it is for you, but it's when it becomes an addiction or obsession, that's when it becomes toxic. And I feel for a lot of you, you're understanding this, Aquarius, and you're finding ways to overcome that attachment and you're lifting anchor and you're saying, no, I don't want to get tethered to that. I don't want to be, you know, wrapped up in some sort of toxicity because the devil can be obsessions, fears, manipulation, codependency. It can be us getting stuck in that five energy and feeling like there's no way out, feeling trapped, feeling like we've been taken over. And that's what you're getting out of. The devil is showing up here in reverse and all the rest of your cards are basically upright here. So this is your choice with the choice card showing up as your main theme, one of your main themes in the month of August. This is making a decision. It is options, resources, finding resources that could help you on your journey, financial resources, maybe this is therapy, this is help, some sort of aid. It can be doctors or coaches, healers, mentors. Spirit wants you to know that you have resources available. You are never stuck. It feels like that when you have such an attachment to a situation or it feels like you have to stay in that job because there's no other options or you feel tied to a relationship because maybe you don't have the financial means. I feel like there's a new path here waiting for you if you're brave enough to take it. And I see you are Aquarius. This is about free will and choosing a different world. But right now you feel like you're between them. You're not quite out of the obstacle phase and you're not quite into the make it happen, let's go phase. You're still riding that cusp. But I do see here by the end of the month, you're going to make some big changes and they're going to be worth celebrating. This is about finding balance, finding balance between the head and the heart, because I see the lover showing up here. 
And I also see the King of Cups, so this is beautiful. And I feel with this Eight of Wands, this is about things accelerating for you and allowing yourself to get on the track, get on the path. That's why you have two paths here in the cornfields. Get on the path that aligns with your timeline of the frequency that you wanna be in. What does that look like to you? What does that feel like? And what is it required of you to do to get there? Pay attention to your intuition. Signs are pointing you in this direction. Symbols, it could be numbers. Some of you, it's spirit communication, paying attention to your dreams. This is coins, numbers, synchronicities, again, feathers. It could be creatures, animals. You are receiving a lot of downloads, a lot of messages through music or even through even through your, your meditations for some of you, whether it's walking meditation or just allowing yourself to pause and disconnect, I feel like you are probably more intuitive than you felt in quite some time. And you're listening to that voice within because it's showing up here right now. And Aquarius, I feel like you are very logical, right? You are an air sign and this can be the feather. This can be the element of air. And I feel like sometimes that thinking clouds your own intuition, overthinking, over obsessing about a situation. And it's important to get out of the head and drop down into the body a little bit more. Maybe ground yourself, get outside in nature, go kayaking, go for a walk, go for a hike. Now, bottom of the deck we have ascension. This is soul advancement. It's personal growth and we have meditation here as well, but it's awareness. And when we are aware that we have a choice, we're able to take action and jump into whatever timeline we want to go into, right? Because we're constantly seeing our reality shift based on the choices that we make. And you have this heightened sense of awareness at this time. And you're trusting that the divine, that your higher self, that your team, your spiritual team is helping you on this journey. And they absolutely are. They never leave your side. And some of you, it does require travel, maybe new lands, vacationing, backpacking. Your gypsy soul is activated this month. You have big dreams this month. And eight is all about putting in the work right? And putting in that determination, that strength, that willpower to proceed forward. And that's what I see you doing. But you've come to a point where you're facing some fears. You have the shadow. So the shadow could be creeping up, right? It could come to the surface for you in the month of August. But I feel like it's important for you to look that shadow, look that devil in the eye and give it a wink. Say, you know what? You don't have control. I've cut the cord. I have removed myself. I've lifted the anchor. I chose to release the indulgence. I've chose to rise above. There's something here about inner healing and perhaps even, again, I'm getting addiction showing up. For some of you, this is some form of addiction or obsessiveness or toxic pattern or behavior or relationship or dynamic that you are in. I feel like you're making a choice to free yourself from it. And there's a new beginning coming in here for you. <clears throat> Some of you have worked with a therapist, you've worked with a coach regarding some buried emotions, regarding the ego. Some of you may have gone through a bit of a dark night of the soul. You may even have some old triggers and old wounds coming up for you, but I feel like you keep them at bay. You keep them at bay because you are equipped with the tools to help you do so. That's very important. And look at, we also have intuition and we have detox. There's the answer here. Intuitively, you know something isn't healthy. You're eliminating toxicity. It's right here. You are withdrawing from drama. And some of you, this has to do with foods. Maybe there's a food obsession. Perhaps this is drama in the workplace. Not my monkeys, not my circus. I'm not going to involve myself in that. Maybe it's family drama, friendships. It could be in a relationship where someone or someone has 
brought out the shadow within you or within each other. It's like you've seen the worst of the worst in each other and now you've ascended and whether this person is coming with you or not, I feel like you're making that choice to go regardless of if they're on the same page as you or not because you're doing this for you. It has to be balanced. There has to be balance in a union if you are currently in some sort of partnership or you're not waiting around for someone else to do the work because it's holding you back. All right, let's dive into the tarot. You have the devil with the king of cups. This is about you showing love and compassion and kindness to that shadow, the shadow within, right? And that reminds me also of the strength in reverse. It's about self-discipline. It's about taking a look at patterns that may sabotage your happiness. This is about looking at diplomacy from a new perspective and staying within your heart, within your intuition and knowing that a life well lived, <clears throat> excuse me, will play in this devil's playground at some point or another, right? A life well lived with the devil will play in this playground at some point or another, but it's up to you on how long you want to stay anchored. How long are you going to play in that playground, right? Because you got to come in, you got to take a bath, you got to get yourself cleaned. You got to, you know, focus on other things besides just that devil's playground. And I feel for some of you, maybe you were numbing, maybe you're running away. Maybe that was your escape mechanism, right? When you go to the park as a little kid or you go ride your bike for hours on end, for some of you, you don't want to come home. Maybe the home was toxic, right? And perhaps you've transformed that indulgent into something else, whatever the devil represented, but you're freeing yourself from it. I mean, this is big. King of Cups is someone who's very loving, very supportive, emotionally intelligent. This is a person who can be emotionally distant until they open up, until there is a level of trust and emotional connection that's built between the both of you. This could be you may keep people at an arm's length until you're able to trust them and see that they're going to be healthy for you. Okay, this could be someone new entering into your world, someone that is healthy, someone that has the emotional capacity to love you and all of you or to work with you in some way, shape or form. What I see here, if this King of Cups is you, female or male, it doesn't matter. It's the masculine energy of the King of Cups, which is interesting because the Cups is very feminine in its energy itself. So sometimes that can be a struggle for the divine masculine to soften into, you know, love, to accept love, to receive love. But this is peaceful di diplomacy instead of uncontrolled emotions that go haywire. And maybe that's part of the devil, part of what you've had to learn in the past. And I'm getting the little fly that lives in the plant, comes out on occasion, but typically it is a remind, <clears throat> excuse me, a reminder of the distractions, not to let the distractions make a choice for you or not to get distracted on your path where you don't make a choice at all or you stay in that indecisive energy here. But I see emotional intelligence. I see that you have evolved. I see that your energy has ascended here. Aquarius, give yourself a big hug, right? Pat yourself on the back. You've come a long way. Now we have the lovers showing up with the ace of coins. If this is a new beginning in love, you are opening your heart to this. This is big. This could be a new project that you're opening up. You're making a choice. Because the lovers can represent choice, it's partnerships, it's balanced decisions, and it's a new soul contract, something that really fulfills your heart. And it's tangible. You can see this. There's an opportunity for abundance if you listen to the heart's desire, the heart's calling here. This is beautiful. And because you have choice showing up with the lovers, you're going to choose this new beginning and you're going to choose to open up to this because this is what you are wanting, right? It's what you're wanting. And I feel like you can trust this. Okay. You can trust this. The devil's in reverse here. So this is about 
be, being able to find the balance between the lovers and the devil, which they're so closely related. They really are. Sometimes this can be condition, conditionings or conditions with the devil and the lovers can be unconditional, right? Unconditional love versus conditional. And because the devil's in reverse, I feel as though conditions have been lifted and there's a free flow that's able to kind of come into the picture, come into the mix that perhaps you didn't have in the past, okay? Because I feel like you're being renewed in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, you're being renewed. <clears throat> now, your outcome energy, Aquarius, is the three of cups with the eight of wands. There has been a delay, but the delay was for your highest good. The Eight of Wands is about movement. It's about travel, relocating, getting back on track. Because we have the Three of Cups, which represents celebration, gleeful celebration. Some of you are disconnecting from substances or excessive partying. This could be someone that you were connected to that may have had a drinking problem or they went to extremes. This can also be excessive expectations. Expectations can really make or break, right? Conditions. We put conditions or expectations on something. I'm also getting for some of you, there may have been third party action that really took you off track, kind of like that train where the tracks are splitting. I kind of feel that for you. Some of you, it feels like a train wreck is about to happen, but really what's happening is that train is shifting. Instead of going in the direction you thought, it's when those tracks come up and there's a shift. This is the crossroads point where that train is getting ready to shift. And I feel like it has to do with the choice that you make. And this could even be a last minute decision for some of you. But the conductor knows all along, right? The conductor knows that where the track is, when the opportune moment comes in. And I feel like your soul is leading you. Your soul is that conductor in a way. And your intuition, your spiritual self is opening up to this new path to help you actually get back on track. So I don't mind seeing the Eight of Wands here in reverse because even though it says accelerating quickly and no traction, I feel like that's how it's felt in the past. And there may be fear as you're coming up to this crossroads, but ultimately you're going to see that this shift is way better. There's better scenery on this, this path. There's better adventure. It may be taking you instead of the mountains, it could be taking you to the ocean, right? It could be taking you to a completely new path, but I feel like you are ready for it. Oh, Aquarius, this is exciting. This is good. There could even be news of birth, news of a new job. You may pass a test. This could be a reunion. This could be a wedding reception or, you know, getting ready to join a community, uh, excuse me, community event. With the Three of Cups, this is love. This is honoring each other. This is special energy between you and others who share your vision. This is a, a myriad of like-minded individuals. This is a trio. Could be sisters, sisterhood. For some of you, it could be a group. I'm kidding, a group of yogis. Okay. I mean, maybe some of you do yoga or maybe this is a spiritual retreat you're going on. Let's look at finances, wealth, money, and abundance. So you start off with the anchor, right? You start off feeling like maybe there's a block. Maybe you feel a little stuck. But we also have financially sound decisions coming in. This is water related. It could be travel. It, it is about lifting up that anchor and placing it elsewhere. I feel like that's what you're doing here is you're lifting up whatever block and you're open to a new opportunity that will bring in more stability. But you may be scared lifting up that anchor because it could be hard to do so, right? Maybe there's been a lot of attachments. Maybe that anchor is really heavy. Perhaps you've been in a place for so long, you're fearful of, of where that next anchor is going to land. But I feel like this is an opportune moment for change. The turtle is all about money coming in. 
It could be slow, right? But there's steady progress here. Have you ever seen a sea turtle head towards the ocean after it's hatched? Those suckers cruise, right? There's no slow movement there. They're ready. They have this innate, intuitive ability to head towards the water, right? Uh, whether it's it must be built within them. I mean, maybe there's something with, uh, with sound or with sight, but I feel like they know. They know what direction the ocean is in. They go for it. And I feel like that's the same with this train, right? This train is unstoppable in a way. There is a destination that your soul is calling you to head towards. So some of you could be moving, quite literally. This talks about in good time steady progress being made. And this is long-term growth, Aquarius, long-term relationships, long-term success that takes you well into retirement, takes you well into old age. I feel like there is a lot of progress here, but you have the tools and you have to remember that there could be a tool or a resource that you didn't even realize you had access to because you see the knife you see the fork and you see the spoon. And a lot of times, whenever this card comes up, I think of eating soup with a fork, right? How inconvenient that would be. And I feel for some of you, you realize that the tool, the tool you need is the spoon. And maybe you are swapping meals or maybe you have access now to the spoon, but you have all the utensils you need, all the skills, all the talent to to move forward and to choose this path. <clears throat> this can be about business tools, needing more money, living well, living a life where you're not just scraping by or living paycheck to paycheck, but you have enough in reserve. You have enough to retire. You're able to build upon your legacy and you have enough to share and enough to feel supported and stable in some way, shape or form. Some of you may even be sole providers, Maybe this is food related or you are opening up an opportunity to maybe work more or work differently that ultimately leads to your goal, your outcome, which is the gold bar. This is solid finances. This is investing. It's integrity. It's deep values. And we also see long term again showing up here. So some of you are making choices right here, right now that have to do with your long-term plan or goals, your retirement. And I feel like the seeds that you've planted, they're starting to take shape, but it's important to remain flexible on this path because at any given moment at that crossroads, right, you could pivot, right? You, you've seen the train tracks that tend to kind of come up last minute or, you know, the train takes a turn in this direction. And I feel like that's exactly what's happening. You're not going to wreck, right? It's not going to disappear. The tracks aren't going to disappear from underneath you. You're protected. And this is about satisfaction, long-term work, and long-term positions. You may even be looking into where you invest your money. Maybe you're looking at different banks, interest rates, mortgage, loans. You may be investing in cryptocurrency, gold, you, where you spend your time, where you commit your energy. We talked about that earlier. And I feel like what's happening is you are in full integrity. When the feelings that you have around a situation and your thoughts align, that is you embracing your integrity. And I feel like there is alignment showing up here. And it looks really, really good and long-term with this Ace of Pentacles. This is a gift. This is new abundance in the material world. And I feel like it does have the, you know, the opportunity to, to go the distance here, to take you far. It wouldn't surprise me if, you know, we do see, if we were to clarify, but stay tuned for next month's reading. You know, we're going to see that nine and that 10 of Pentacles here without a doubt, but keeping your heart open to these opportunities and being able to receive them is key on your path, on your journey. All right. What else do we have here? We have payday showing up for you. So I do feel Aquarius that some of you, there's going to be a pay bump, a pay increase. Some of you may get back pay, VA. I'm getting, there could be a loan. There could be, 
you know, a larger amount than normal with the payday card. So this is a really beautiful energy. You also have dress to impress. So if you've shown up uh, to this reading, maybe unemployed, or you are looking for a new opportunity, I feel like you're dressing to impress, but it's your energy that captivates them. Aquarius, you are an excellent communicator. You're able to pull tricks out of your hat. And I feel like it's not a trickster energy. It's a magician energy of you being able to manifest the outcome that you want, but you're also very intellectual. It looks like your heart is wide open here. You're logical. You're going to impress people. And I feel like you're very respectable and people want what you have to offer because you have the tools. Even if you feel like you're missing that spoon, it's in your back pocket, right? It's in your back pocket. There are resources here available to you. And some of you may feel like, do I have what it takes? The answer is yes, you do. Yes, you have what it takes. Even if you feel like you're in an entry level position or it feels like you're starting, starting from scratch, you're not. You're starting from wisdom, from experience. You're going to grow quickly. I feel like, yeah, there's a new beginning coming in here for you, but there's still a lot to learn about yourself, about your craft about your, your business or your career. Some of you, this may even require a certification or additional training in some way, shape, or form. But I feel really good about this. And I feel like you've been wanting this opportunity and you definitely knock their socks off in some way, shape, or form, whatever that means for you. Maybe it's your clients, you impress them. Someone may even get a gift maybe a gift certificate. This could be an extra commission. It could be a bonus. It could be a tip. I feel like there's some sort of extra gift showing up here for you this month. All right, let's look at timing. You have it's not the right time, and I feel like it's not the time to indulge in destructive patterns. I feel like this is saying now is not the time to indulge in the devil, right? We, we got to get out of that devil's playground, whatever that may be, whether it's fun or not. Some of you have been riding that merry-go-round and you're dizzy and dizzy and dizzy, ready to puke. You've been on it so long, right? I feel like that's what spirit is saying. Now is not it's not the right time to stay in that devil's playground. It's time to come out because once you do, once you release something, once you make a new choice, something shows up faster than you think, faster than you think. And it could even be within, I mean, yes, we have choices made now, but I see the fall energy showing up here. Here in the Northern Hemisphere, fall, I believe is September 22nd, I believe. Uh, and goes through October and potentially November. So I feel like for those of you that are looking for this change or this new beginning, uh, it could arise now for you, of course, with that Ace of Pentacles. For others of you, it's gonna show up within the next few months. For those of you in the Southern Hemisphere and you're going into, um, maybe going into spring, would it be spring? Yeah, I feel like this could come back around for you, or maybe fall time was the catalyst, the kickoff of a choice that you've made, and now you're able to see the rewards. I do feel for a lot of you, though, in the Northern Hemisphere here, this is going to kick off now, and uh, by fall time, there's a lot to celebrate, definitely a lot to celebrate. And for those of you in the Southern Hemisphere, this may have already happened, right? There, this may have already happened. Uh, you may feel at times, like, did I make the right choice? But I feel like there's an opportunity for growth and advancement here. Yeah. All right. Let's look at love. What do we have for love? Okay. Love is looking good. I mean, I like the devil showing up. It means that there's healthy indulgences here. It means that there could be a lot of sexual attraction between you and another with the lovers here. I do see that Conditions have been lifted. There's a playful energy. Leo season tends to bring in fun and enlightenment. It can be curiosity, getting to know one another. It's like the honeymoon stage, right? And if you're in a new relationship or if you're looking for love, there's an opportunity to celebrate, maybe even meet someone when you're out with your friends. 
some of you this is going to turn into <clears throat> excuse me something long term it could even be a friendship that you've been in this group for a while and somebody may tell you how they feel about you remember what i said about keeping people at an arm's length or arm's distance until they really get to know you that could be this king of cups showing up uh, and it does say here i didn't even read it yet but it says let your friends help you so there's confirmation ask for and accept support from others so there is something about friendships turning into more or going out with friends and you may meet people a friend may tell you hey aquarius i know someone you'd make a great couple or you should get together with them if that is the case if that happens aquarius and you're single go for it i feel like it it really could be a divine match <clears throat> for those of you that are in a relationship currently i feel like it could be important to spice things up maybe even in the bedroom maybe role play with the devil maybe it's time to visit the devil's playground for those of you that have been in a little bit of a stagnant routine this is about reactivating having fun celebrating bringing in external energies now i'm not talking people unless that's your thing but this could be bringing things into liven things up a bit or date night or you know hosting a game night at the house maybe having you know a few beverages or mocktails and celebrating with those that you love i feel it's important here to reconnect and remember why you fell in love with your partner in the first place and we have attraction law of attraction and passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and you attract romantic love by being fully present in the moment and that's what i'm seeing for you aquarius is staying present <clears throat> excuse me may allow you to not leak energy towards the past or too far into the future because when we do that we lose sight of what's right in front of us right here right now so trust that the law of attraction is you know working in your favor but you must keep your thoughts and your energy is focused on the now and stay present and stay aware of you know what's going on within you and around you all right this looks really quite good i like this a lot of you are emotionally intelligent you're logical you are very smart i feel like you're not making choices that are keeping you held back right or there's a crossroads here that's definitely allowing you to move forward in some way shape or form and we have the flame the flame showing up for you aquarius i feel like this flame is reignited within you some of you that flame may have went out it's like it's like that spark right that spark within you sometimes tends to go out uh, a wind comes in like the big bad wolves come in and they blow it all down there's something that may have happened in your life that dulled your shine or blew out your flame in some way shape or form or maybe just life happened and responsibilities and some of you you need to visit the, the devil's playground i'm going to tell you that some of you need to visit the devil's playground if things have become too stagnant and you want to live a little bit go visit the devil just don't stay in there forever right and for others of you kudos to you for getting out of this if you were stuck in it for too long now the flames message is this this is the fire the spark the glimmer in San sanskrit the word for fire is agni the ancient yogi saw this flame at the center of the abdomen and believed it to be responsible for our vitality when it is lit we are connected to our purpose and sense that life is a sacred gift it is said that those who cannot see the sacred around them have let their inner flame go out think of this card as a call to reignite that fire to cup your hands gently around those things you've forgotten and protect the flame no matter how harshly the winds around you blow it could be an inner archetype that begs you to light its wick it is likely that the poet the mystic or the shaman would call you with the language of the flame when this is showing up as the light it is health it's mental clarity and it's good digestion and we'll talk about health in just a moment 
But it, when it's showing up as the dark, it can be excess heat and anger. It can be complete darkness. It's up to you to choose the light or the dark or to embrace, you know, you've most likely embraced both of them. So what side? Now that you have a little taste of both, what side do you want to be on? The archetypal fire is at the beginning of all transformation, purification, and manifestation. Nearly every spiritual lineage honors the flame. To enliven the connection with this archetypal energy, practice the candle gazing technique called Trataka. Notice how lighting a single candle in any space brings magic to the room and creates a sense of reverence. So candle gazing, basically. Now, Leo is a strong fire energy Aquarius, so there's something being reignited within you during this 8-8 portal, during Leo season here. And if you want to take this a step further, the light you give off by Rumi. Take a look at that. I, I'm not sure if that is, uh, it could be a poem or G Gerard Richter's candle paintings. Okay, that can help you activate that flame within. And I definitely feel like there's a glimmer here. There's a glimmer of not just hope, but inspiration and celebration and life. You are awakening from the inside out and this looks absolutely divine. It looks amazing, Aquarius. That is what I have for you. If this resonates, please hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share, like, subscribe, and hit that bell. And if you haven't already signed up for the newsletter or the free reading giveaway, you can find all that information in the description box below or visit intuitivesoulcoach at yahoo.com. Thank you so much for being here, Aquarius. Lots of love.